Hey, how's it going? This is Chris, and today we're going to do a little video on how to use a Gatsby starter. So with Gatsby and the Gatsby CLI, you could, and I'm in VS Code, you could in your in your terminal just type in Gatsby new my project and then hit enter, and this would spin you up a brand new Gatsby project with uh, the default starter. So this will give you some boilerplate like the Gatsby files, you know, Gatsby browser and config, etc., um, and some of the other basics. But there are a couple hundred um, starters that people have developed on their own that incorporate different things from, you know, like pulling in data from a headless CMS to some that look really, really good for uh, creating a portfolio or a blog or things like that. And if you're either maybe in a time crunch um, or maybe you don't feel super confident in your design skills, whatever it may be, uh, there are lots of starters that, that can help you out with getting a Gatsby project up and running without um, some of the heavy lifting that might be required from um, using the default starter. So I'm on the Gatsby uh, main site here. I'm gonna go to Docs and then Starter Library. And from here, you can see all of these different starters and they have different features. You can read the title and the, the quick description. Um, let's see, for example, this one looks like it, it uses a headless CMS and then Tailwind as a styling library. Um, Tailwind and Emotion for CSS and JS. Uh, starter for Contentful, that headless CMS. So you can definitely go ahead and configure all of these things on your own from using a, a basic Gatsby project, but uh, you can also get up and running pretty quickly by using one of these starters. So I'm gonna scroll back to the top, and here's how you go about installing this. Uh, it's gonna give you the directions here. Before we do, you can take a look at the all the different features, and then actually gives you the uh, the dependencies that are, um, are prepackaged with this starter which is pretty nice and convenient and if you want also you can follow this link to the github repo and you can actually check out the source code which is helpful too <clears throat> uh, especially you know before you're installing it just to kind of take a look and and get a feel for what um, what the internals look like so i already have this typed out gatsby new my project all I need to do is now grab this URL and copy it. And then I paste that at the end. And now instead of using the Gatsby default starter, we're going to use this ghost starter. Now it looks like I have one called my project already. So we'll call it a uh, my ghost. And just like any Gatsby project, you can name that whatever you want. The important thing is just to make sure you have this URL tacked on the end. That's why I didn't just, um, or a re the reason I didn't copy this whole thing is um, so that I could show you how to name this. If you don't, you don't have to call it Gatsby Starter Try Ghost, you can call it whatever you want. But this is going to be the name of your project. And so see how I had my ghost if I up arrow. Gatsby new is for everything. My ghost is what I called it. I could call this whatever I want. And then the URL. So now if I follow those directions, CD my ghost. And then Gatsby, actually I'm going to code dot into it. That's my shortcut with VS Code to open a new window. And now you can see we've got all of these uh, pre-configured files. Let's see ghost.json we've got so this is going to set you up uh, with where you're putting the API keys for this CMS um, let's take a look let's go ahead and uh, see what Gatsby develop gets us some of these uh, I just picked a random one some of these are designed to be used with headless CMSs and need API keys and that sort of thing. 
it's looking good so far. So you can see it built out some folders for us on Gatsby Develop. And cool, let's go over to localhost 8000. And this is it. So now you you've got a you've got a, a website up and running and so you can go ahead and uh, mess around in here, make your design however you want, tweak this. You could use pretty much this exact same layout and, and update the colors and the fonts and all that kind of stuff. But um, as always, Gatsby is is pretty clutch when it comes to getting you get getting you up and running. Um, and this is just one way to to utilize some uh, other configurations and styling that that people have uh, put together for you. So. Uh, this is a quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.